Ali, how are you? <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> and of course, uh, I mean, you always uh, pick up the, the selected people that always speak about Hispanic uh, professional group band. Laura Posada was chosen for the last event of the year. Why Laura Posada? Well, we wanted to end the year with a bang, and you know, who brings a, a bigger bang than Laura Posada? Well, without further ado, let me introduce Laura Posada. She's a life coach, a personal trainer, and a lawyer, and so it's an honor to introduce Laura Posada. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about where you're from, where you grew up, just kind of the, the early years of Laura. Okay. Um, so I appreciate everyone being here. As you know, time is one of those things that we can never waste because once we waste it, it doesn't come back. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate that you're here and you're giving me your time tonight. Um, I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. <laughs> my, mom, the, my mom's side of the family was French and my dad's side of the family was from a little town called San Sebastián, Puerto Rico. Uh, I grew up there until I was 17 years old. When I was growing up, um, I loved playing sports, I loved modeling, I loved being a leader, I loved being in the spotlight, and um, I always knew, because my parents taught me that, that if I worked hard, I could achieve anything that I wanted. Mm -hmm. So I grew up playing lots of board games with my mom, with my dad, with my brother, with my sister. And even though I was the youngest, they would never let me win. So I always had to like try to find a way to keep up with them because my sister was five years older, my brother was four years older, and here I was, you know, trying to compete and trying to win. But it, it taught me something. Yeah. It, it taught me that in life, you know, there's always going to be somebody better than you. But if you work the hardest and you believe in yourself and you keep trying, you're going to be a winner no matter what. Sure. So that was my childhood growing up in Puerto Rico. I went to a school um, with American nuns. They were extremely <laughs> strict. I had to walk to school every day. And I was there until I was 17 years old. Okay. In Puerto Rico. So that answers the first part of your question. Sure. And then what brought you to the U.S.? You came to the U.S. to for school, or you just wanted to, you know, just what was your purpose in, in coming over here? Yeah, at 17, um, I went to Loyola University um, in New Orleans, and uh, I did my undergrad there. I studied public relations and acting, and I finished at 21. And then when I finished, uh, my dad said, um, what are you going to do with that? <laughs> you know, you should go to law school because, you know, you love, like, arguing and, uh, and winning every argument, so go to law school. So I said, okay, you know, three more years, sure. let's do it. So I went to law school at Loyola University, too, and uh, by 24, I was done. I went back to Puerto Rico, and I took the state bar, I took the federal bar, and I started working as an attorney in Puerto Rico. And I was doing mostly bankruptcy cases in the, in the federal court in Puerto Rico. And that's the time in my life where um, I enjoyed what I was doing, but it wasn't my passion. Um, so I was also given the opportunity to start working on TV again. So I was working as an attorney, and then Thursday nights, I was also hosting a TV show. <laughs> where I was making more money <laughs> and I was enjoying it a lot more. So, you know, it was a very interesting, um, a very interesting combination, you know, working as an attorney and also working on TV and, uh, and doing also some modeling. So one day I came into the office and, and my boss said, uh, I need to have a conversation with you because uh, you need to make a choice. You need to decide if you're going to be an attorney or if you're going to be an artist. And I said, okay, you know, let me think about it and, and I'll get back to you. So I went back to my office and I sat there and I said, why do I have to choose because someone is telling me to choose? If I have the ability and I have the energy and I have the time to do both, this is my life. So I'm going to do what I want to do. 
You know, I'm a woman that has different interests. I have different abilities, different talents, and I want to explore all of them. So I went back to his office and I gave him the keys to the office. I gave him the key to the parking garage and I said, thank you for the opportunity, but I'm going to go do what I want to do. And that's when my life, a moment in my life that, that changed everything. Yeah, you're, you're afraid, you're scared, and you're thrilled to death. So I'm going to jump around because there's a lot of things that I want to talk about. So I usually try to keep it pretty linear, but you've got a lot going on right now. You're doing the Laura Posada tour. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, you have a book. Mm -hmm. You're also the only Latina hosting uh, two segments on television. It's uh, the Today Show and Univision. Let's start with let's start with the Laura Posada tour. Mm -hmm. Tell us how that's going. What's that about? I know there's a clap for change it's as well. Um, just kind of give us some background and kind of where that's going. What cities you're visiting? What's the purpose? How the book fits in? I decided to get certified uh, as a coach, and of course, I'm gonna, if I'm going to do something, I got to do it to the max. So first I got the professional certification and then I decided to get the master. And um, I was actually here in New York with Carlos Anaya that, that you guys know. Yes. Um, he's here. And um, he was interviewing me for a segment that he was doing for, for Fox. And um, we were talking about the life coaching and everything that I'm doing with that. And he said, you know, that's amazing. You know, we should do something together because this is the time of entertainment that we need more of. So I said, you know, th that's true, Carlos, you know, I agree with you. So I went back to Miami and, and I was thinking of a way that I could work, you know, with my friend who was also, you know, in the same state of mind. So I was driving my car in Miami and I was putting, thinking of a name for my business and, and for the idea that we had discussed. And um, I started putting our initials together in my mind while I'm driving. And it was Carlos, Anaya, Laura, Posada, uh, Palk, no, Lapsi, no, clap. And I said, oh my God, we are clapping for change. This is what the name of my business needs to be. Because what we're doing is, we are going to teach people how to change their lives. And once we accomplish change, we need to celebrate, we need to enjoy the journey, and we need to start clapping for every achievement along the way. And that's when Clap for Change was born. Okay. And then after we came up with the name, then uh, we started the tour. So I was invited to speak at the New York Times uh, by another Latina, by Deanira. She invited me. And then I was invited to speak in Panama. And then everything just started flowing one thing over the other. And then Laura Posada on tour started.